Yeah, I mean, you, you take it, you know, like the income statement, boom, margins. Okay, look, that's really, real good margins, real low margins. Okay, right, note that down. Yep. You know, if I, if I see, you know, a, a 25% pre tax margins, that's pretty fucking good. I'm yep. writing that down, right? As a thing. Yep. All right, well, you know what? It has 25% pre tax margins, but it has all this debt, you know, all, the, all these little things, which, you know, um, you start you start balancing it all. And, you, and I'm looking at these quick things, all the important spots, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, risk factors, liquidity st- section, the SEC document. Making that quick assessment, management discussion, analysis in the SEC documents, hitting those important parts really quick, looking at a conference call transcript really quick, yep. uh, and the press release, and then wishing all together. And I th- and I think it you, you can do it, um, and, and it can be done quickly. So yeah, we, that reminds me, when I was at David Tice, so I wasn't working for the mutual fund. I was working for a, a product called Behind the Numbers, which was back in the day a fifteen thousand dollar a year plus subscription service for institutionals only, and. And it would be Fidelity and Federated and T. Rowe Price, but then it would also be George Soros and the short seller guys because they, you know, they wanted to be on either side of the same, same trade. And one of the things, one of the techniques I learned there that David Tice taught me was this thing that he called the one hour analysis, which goes right to your point. And it was a, it's a book. I probably still have it in my closet that has, you know, kind of here's our process of how we do everything. And um, it usually takes about three days to do a one hour analysis, but a three-day analysis doesn't have quite the clever ring to it, right? <laughs> right. Analysis, but in essence, that's exactly what the one-hour analysis is. It's consistently looking at the exact same things. You get into a pattern recognition, and you get the basic things. Because we had about five analysts that were looking at, you know, a couple thousand stocks a year, so you couldn't spend. And when we published every couple of weeks, so you couldn't spend five months on an idea, mm-hmm. right? You had to move on. And so you you could pick an industry and go through 10 stocks in an industry in two weeks, and then you could decide, okay, there's something there or not, but now you have your outline, and then you can go back in six months, and you've already saved the time. So, so this one-hour analysis um, strategy is, again, something that you do in a different way, but I think it's it's extremely helpful for someone, because I like to say I'm an analog guy. I'm not a digital guy in the sense that I don't do screen, you know, like my screen will be, show me every company in the industry and rank it by like enterprise value. Right. That's not, because a lot of the things we look for are changes from the path. Right. Catalyst is an overused word, but it's also a, the word to use, um, you know, and management change is a big catalyst at, at our level, at the micro cap, nano cap, small cap level. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, if you're just screening for price to book or enterprise to sales or rate of change of margins, you know, everybody sees that, right? Right, right. So, and, and it's not to say that some of those things aren't useful, but if I'm using a computer to screen for ideas in an age when everybody has a computer, not so sure that that's, you know, an edge. 